Right now, I'm here with Captain America himself, American made, American paid. He is the man who's going to take it all this weekend. How are you feeling right now, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing great. Can't wait to drag all their asses this weekend. That's all I care about. He think he's strapped in the car right now. We're going to clean up a little mess down there. He's going to make a first hit for the day. What are we expecting right now? Well, I hope that mess is not in my way. <laughs> We're just going to blow right by that stuff anyway. Keeps here to take $101,000 home this weekend. Had a runner-up finish at Lights Out 9 to Stevie Jackson, but we're going to fix that before we leave here. Well, I can guarantee you that. You know what? One of the things about this $101,000, my crew in, that's sitting around this car, they get a big, big piece of it. I just get a little bitty small piece. I'm giving the rest of it to them because that's how we roll over in our pits. It ain't for the money. It's for that damn win. There it is. You know my name. Driving Enigma, Keith Haney, American made, American pay, on $101,000 here at the Super Bowl of Radio Tire Motors right now. How about, that, how about that blower I got hanging out? Where'd that blower go, big dog? Good luck, buddy. And here comes the man, the myth, the not legend. Oh. <laughs> My bad. Keith Haney comes up in the Enigma machine. And as you well know, and as everybody knows, you know his name. That's right. The booster seat is in effect. Keith Haney's going to be coming out of right hand side the Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. 948 cubic inches of rear morse and power. Brandon Schweitzer, Brandon Pass, Brandon squared out there, doing a tuning. We're going to see if uh, Keith Haney can take the nitrous car to number one. Keith obviously had a great season in his Pro Mod last year in the Midwest Pro Mod Association, but I would I would say, I don't think you can argue the point, his best day of radio racing, his best weekend of radio racing ever was at Lights Out 9. Made the finals. It was one of those rare occasions where the final round was the hype thing. It actually played out the way you wanted it to. Yeah, who knows where we would be right now if Keith Haney would have won that match because we probably would have been... So many line feeds and oh god and no oh yeah it's just I can't even imagine. Can you imagine if he wins this race? That's gonna right. be the question. <laughs> so what we what have we seen so far? We've seen plenty of very quick runs, and we have a car in the starting line with Brandon Schweitzer standing next to it, and Brandon Pez standing behind it. And this thing has all the right parts and pieces to run down, certainly quick enough to go number one. So here we go, making sure it's in the groove right there. Schweitzer Dynamics on board, the rear horse and power. Let's see if they can do it right here. The little man that could, Keith Haney, is going to stand tall right here in his qualifying session, number one. Haney's got it in pre-stage. He's going down by himself. Here we go. The starting line and then driving a tire smoke before the 3.30. Man, did you see how tight that front end was? It didn't even try to come up. Went out about uh, 50 feet or so, lit the tires up. 101 60 foot and actually drove right, uh, right a little bit. So 536.9 actually puts Haney on the bump right now. Hey everybody, I'm here with American made, American paid Keith Haney. Made his first hit down there. Had a little trouble down there, Keith. What, what are we doing? Well, we got out there. We was going for it a little bit there and, uh, you know, uh, for 10 minutes, they didn't drag the track, so I'm not going to just blame that, but I'm going to tell you that that track, we last pair up, so or last car up, and uh, got out there about 150 feet and just took the tire off. We were going for it. It was good down low, everything. So you know what? We got like 18,000 qualifiers, so I'm not really worried about a damn thing. I wouldn't worry about it myself, but I'll tell you this. Um, yeah, you did, they, did, they did let you get in the seat a little cold there for a little while, and, you know, I, I know. Took a nap. I know. When you get gunned up, you're wanting to go, and then, you know, some issues happen, though, but we got you down there, but... I just what hope we, Senate is okay. His car okay. Yeah, I, I think mean, he's good. We're gonna go thing. check on him here in a little bit. But yeah. uh, what do we got planned for the second round? What are you gonna do to get down there? Oh shoot, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the top in the second round. We ain't gonna let up on it. We gotta go right after it. We, ain't, we didn't come here to play. We come to, you know, right there. We just had a little issue here at 100 and something feet. First time ever. That's it. That's what that? I'm talking I'm about. I got out of that second. I'm ready to go again. That's Shit. what I'm talking about. Hey, red, red, white, and blue, there. right there, people. Oh, man, red, white, and blue buys his own parts, right there. Keith Haney, he becomes second round. Here we go.
Who knows his name? I don't know his name. That's right. It's the one, the only Keith Haney. The left-hand side of the racetrack, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 16 Camaro. Larry Jeffers built race car, rear marks and power, 5 3 horse facing. Schweitzer Dynamics, Brandon squared up there. Brandon Paz, Brandon Schweitzer doing a turn in. So we're going to see if uh, Enigma, the top secret machine, can go in a three second zone that shocked the world by runner up uh, a few weeks ago. And Alan Pittman, of course, racing with Scotty Cannon as he has for years. Pittman, a race car builder down there in the Carolinas. This is this. Yes, a new record crowd, ladies and gentlemen. We got six people here on the premises. Want to say thank you very much for showing up. We'd like to thank everyone, including you, sir, and you, sir. <laughs> yes, the dog. Yes. We want to thank the dogs for showing up. Where's the birds at, you know, from the movie? Well, neither of these cars have qualified yet. Pittman didn't even make a run last time, and Haney spun the tire. Yeah, remember Haney's car, the front end was really tight. It actually started going right, so they had to make a little chassis adjustment. Let's see if they got it ready. for Haney, 383-9, 185-43 for Pittman. You know what that means. We have it all three second field, baby. 392 with a one is the bump spot. Yeah, the bump spot, not only we have it all three second field, we are now four cars away from an all 380s field with the 13, 14, and well, actually four cars, 13 through 16 are all in the very low 390s. Holy smoke. All right, so Keith Handy, man, what a blast. That thing, that looked like it had to be at least a 370 or 80. 378, I believe, is what it was. It got out there and it started to spin. I went ahead and drove through it. She just hooked him right up and just took off. You know, if it wouldn't have spun there, that she was rolling. She was rolling good. Yeah, so it was the, awesome. So the top secret, man, Enigma, she is running, man. Running, here we come. Nitrous, nitrous to the front, nitrous right? To the front. <laughs> All right, Keith Haney. Well, it is easy. a carbon copy of the final round of Lights Out 9 minus the stakes right now here at qualifying. Well, there might be stakes. You never know. These two always love to put money on the line, so they may have a sign bet we don't know about. The uh, right, so the question is, Stevie Jackson said, hold my beer and watch this, even though he didn't have a beer. I'm, I'm just kidding, but... Maybe I need the beer and you can hold it. But anyway, it's going to be interesting to see Stevie Fast Jackson left hand side. Can he go number one? The RJ Race Car Strange Engineering Machine. He went 372 and he said he's going to turn it up. Yeah, he said he's pulling a bunch of fuel away, going to use the lean outs, and he's putting all the timing he can spin into the motor. So that is going to be the difference. He claims that the speed being down at only 200, a sign that they had the thing soft enough to go down the racetrack earlier. Haney's 379 is not where he wants to end up. So the two B's, Schweitzer. And Pez is going to work on getting this thing down the racetrack in quicker fashion. Brandon squared, baby. Schweitzer Dynamics on board. Brandon Pez, of course, you see him. Frankenstein rocking his uh, hardware out there. Now Haney went a 379 to 198 miles an hour, so that's uh, pretty much his best pass ever. They're going to try to lean on it right here and see if that nitrous car can go quicker. Keep your eyes on the 60 foot. The 60 foot's going to tell the number right here on both sides of the racetrack. Wow, 368-6, 9.46, to the 3.30, goes 3.68 with a 6.202 to go number one by Stevie Jackson. That is brutality, 9.49 down low. Holy smoke. Look at Keith Haney, though. Give him a little bit of credit. 374 with an 8, 200 miles an hour. That's his career best pass up with Haney, number five. Man alive. This is, uh, man, this is crazy. <laughs> This is legitimately crazy. This is huge. Look at the replay. See the candles lit. Stevie Jackson starts taking off. The gap bands are playing. And a 368's on the board. But Stevie would have lost because he did go red on it when he left. When he ran? Yeah, if there was extra no, he money on it. He ran, did he? No, he lost. Okay, I just want to make sure. So, so Duck has now clarified that since he went red, it goes to the bottom <laughs> of the ladder. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>
here we are with the man, Haney, man. you got to be excited. Uh, that was the fastest, quickest pass I've ever seen you do. Am I right? Absolutely. 74, 200 mile an hour. We hit the 200 mile an hour. I think I'm the first nitrous car to go 200 mile an hour. So, you know what? That's uh, that's our third hit. Our first one, we didn't do good. Our second one, we went 79. Here we went 74. Light, uh, lights out. We went 77 in the finals. How about that right there? KHR to the front. Nitrous oh to the front. Oh, my God. These Haney. Boys, 200 nitrous oxide in the eighth of a mile, man. All right, all right, let's do it. I mean, I got goosebumps. You better be watching the live feed, because if you don't, you're missing out on the best show in drag racing. And you heard it from Haney the Man, nitrous 200. Oh, it is actually going to be Keith Haney on that side of the racetrack. Did not see that Haney had pulled up next to the arc over there. Hey, I look like fucking Linko. All right, we're lying with the pretend Linko Jim. Linko Jim, how are you having fun here? I'm having a great time. It's awesome here. Who's going to win? Mark Mickey. <laughs> well, I mean, the guy with the dump truck motor is making all these other Hemi guys look like fools. All right, so we have Mark Mickey here. As uh, yesterday, he did the uh, G-Body shuffle all the way to number one qualifier, oh, yeah. ET, mile per hour. How you feeling uh, day two? How are you and how are the car feeling? Uh, car's great, man. You know, we made that 70 flat earlier. Um, came up this run, and, man, we threw... I mean, oh, they put it. We just shit stuff the hell out of it out there, and it just spun the tire about 250 feet, so... You know, we just were trying to throw down and just go as fast as we could, and just a little warm today. So, but we're good now. Track's still badass. So, okay. So, I mean, we do have a couple more hits left, I believe, today. Are you going to take them? Um. Oh yeah, because I mean, we got to get in race mode. You know, I mean, and I'm. We want to build up for that. That uh, what's a home run derby tonight? So, we want we want to be loaded up, ready for that. So, well, right on, ladies and gentlemen. Your number one guy, man. Unbelievable. All right, so the ABC man himself is out there. Look at that strutting his stuff in the jacket as we're putting the free stage mobile on Keith Haney's side. <laughs> short time. They're going to run it through. Goes 379 with a 5 at 199 at 97. Doesn't improve, but continues to run that thing down the racetrack with little drama and little problem. Haney stays number 9. Hey, all right, so we're here with Keith Haney. Yesterday, a career best, I believe it was, a, you had a 374, which put you in the top 10 here in the most insane race on the planet. Tell us about today, Keith. Well, where's the excitement you had yesterday? I mean, I, you were jumping on top of the world yesterday. Yeah. What, are you a little wore out today? Woo! Woo! Hey, let me tell you something. We had to change the rear gear and that. Uh, we'd heard it last night. We didn't want to take a chance in it, so it's a totally different ratio. So we went up there, kind of shot the wind. We went 79. I don't even know what the mile an hour is. I'm sure it was over 200. Probably like 300. <laughs> I don't know about that, but let me tell you what. We got a hot rod for their asses this coming up. Promise you. And you heard it from Haney. You know, Insaney Haney. Haney. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm here with American Made and American Paid Keith Haney right now, sitting right there on the top of the qualifying field. Had some issues last time, what we got going on? Well, we had a we hadn't made any of the runs until this last qualifier, and the reason why is we heard a rear gear last night and um just clipped a piston because of um took some timing out of the motor the uh, right height deal took some timing out so anyway so we set out the first two we had to try to find a gear all day and couldn't find anything finally i had a gear but the ratios were totally different right so we had to put that in we were hoping that we could uh, go up there and go fast but unfortunately with a gear change right and so so much of a drastic change we had to relearn it so we went up there and shot it kind of shot at the dark went 79 at uh, 199 what I go 201 last night this car we're gonna go to we're gonna go 202 and uh, we're gonna go to the darker one at 79 that's all <laughs> well yeah. you know I got uh, Lucas oil on there powering that dang beast he got rear Morrison got all my great sponsors out there you know the best part about it though is 
we're going to ne make the next three. I think we got an extra one today. Oh, Did yeah. we get an extra yeah, one? You know, we're no. going to get like 10,000 or yeah. whatever it is. But I promise you, watch. I, we're going to try to go in the 60s. We are. Anybody, we are. Anybody home want to say hi to? Yeah, I want to say hi to my son out there and my daughters. My daughter had a graduation picture. She looks beautiful. Um, Misty out there say, Misty, she's going to come in tonight. Uh, anyway, we're going to have a great time. Look forward to seeing everybody. And let me tell you something. If you don't know my name, you will after this. You heard that, people. You'll know his name after this. American made America. America. <laughs>
377. Taylor, 376, 4, 178. So while Haney doesn't improve, Laster does improve by three hundredths. Vaults himself to number 13. And now it's Norm Bryson on the bump spot at 377, man. Wow, so the bump spot Holy is 377, smoke. 2. And Duck's back here like, <laughs> that's all I got to say. <laughs> All right, top end with crazy Keith Keith Haney, man. Oh, you know my name. Um, <laughs> Ken Haney is a – no, I know your name. Anyway, uh, you know, uh, it was great to see you go probably your career best and uh, and get in the, the most wicked field on the planet, the Sweet 16. That was last night, though. Yeah, you know we're, what, though? We're, I, we're sucking up the back end of the pack this, today, but you know what? We put that new rear gear in, finally got a full pass on it right there, so now we can uh, tune on it now and go get after it and – Turn that thing into a low 70 or a high 60. That's the goal. That was a beautiful thing, though, man. I want you to know you did go a 70. I did. Yeah, man. You went, I think you went a 78 at about uh, 197. 197, 198. Man, that yeah. was a great run. I went 74 at two, almost 201. So. Yeah, yeah, but, I mean, you know, um, put the new parts in, came out right off the trailer, and to get back in the uh, 70 zone, that's awesome. All that mattered is I treed Taylor Lassiter in the other lane. He went faster, but he was still sleeping at the starting line when I got there, or at the finish line. <laughs> He's looking at me over there. All right, well, hey, man, great job, and uh, are you coming back out for the last shot tonight? Absolutely. I'm gonna, Yeah! I'm coming hard. Yeah, he's coming hard, baby. Thank you. Good luck. Appreciate you. Uh, he said Linko Jen's got to take it over. Well, there you have it. He said if he goes to 59, Linko Jim's got to take the whole operation over. The thing is, is that with Mickey's car being this all-out pro mod and most aerodynamic car on the property, I mean, something that was like a stock wheelbase looking box car there's no way possible something like that could run with a pro mod Whoa. well you know if he would have put the, the the covers on the wheels the rear wheels it would go 50 it may go 300 <laughs> if he puts the covers on the rear wheels he's leaving straight from here heading to bonneville which is going to be awesome <laughs> The Brian Margowitz coming out left hand center, Largo, Florida, 69 Camaro Pro Line, 541 uh, X uh, machine. He went a career best, 374 with a six. Can keep Taney do what he set out to do? Can he go 60s? So Doug says he's going to fall short. Is he going to be short or is he going to go long? So Haney, you see him, uh, he's. He's almost looking like Danny Dave in the car. Oh, wait. The ru rumor has it, Duck. Rumor has it, Duck, if, if Danny Dave was here, the car would be in the 60s. If that, you see that none of the the so-called uh, <laughs> legends, like them, le there are some legends right there. Are you freaking kidding me right now? The legends of the world are right here. South Georgia, all that other stuff just made up. Bring it on. Here he goes. They put it in the beam. Keith Haney in the right hand side puts it in second. Markowitz is in. <laughs> Seventy-four with a zero, two hundred seven miles an hour. Haney goes three seventy-six at one ninety-nine. The racetrack is so good. The racers have so much confidence in this, and the conditions, while well, a little bit warmer than yesterday, are still fantastic. Incredible stuff. Another sixty run for Mills. This time a sixty-six. Look at that. Proven loans wrong. He said that everybody's going to back it down for the day, and and they're hey. out there swinging for defenses. And I'm happily, <laughs> happily, happily wrong on that fact for sure. All nitrous all the time. Nizer and 80. Nizer did not run the last Q last night. He had to crash on the car. They knocked a couple of pistons out of it, rebuilt the motor. And Keith Haney. That's right. Nobody knows his name from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The used car lot. Oh, no. I mean, new car lot, man. The guy who owns like 10 new car lots. Yeah, he's got a whole bunch dealerships. of dealerships there, absolutely, where he sells a lot of Camaros, wow. but none of them that he sells out of the dealership, built by Larry Jeffers or tuned by Brandon Schweitzer and Brandon Pez. So here we go, panel, the two compass, nitrous cars on the planet right here. Nicer wants to run in the 60s, has yet to do that. You saw last night, could not make the call for the final session because he heard it. Threw a little holes out, piston uh, meltage. Piston melt as they come back. I talked to Kenny Hubbard real quick this morning. I said, you ready for this? He goes, as ready as we can be. 
which is, I think, the attitude everybody had down there during the group photo. So you got hopped up by Kenny, or hopped up by Hubbard, on the left-hand side of the racetrack. You have Brandon Swear doing a tune on the right-hand side. Then Brandon Penn, Brandon Schweitzer, Schweitzer Dynamics. You're Wow. You also have a carbureted engine on the left side of the racetrack and a fuel ejected engine here on the summit side. Wow, it's just about as different as you can get when it comes to nitrous in this category. Big giant split dominators on top of build intake manifold for Jeff Neiser. Is it going to be enough? They qualified within two hundredths of each other. Almost 1900. <laughs> That was all he needed. 374 2 at 200. Haney buries Nizer here as you go 382 8 at 181. Nizer obviously off the power at the end. You heard what may have been a little bit of a pop down there. Yeah. Apparently, some might not have been totally right in Nizer's car, but they gave it the best shot. 382 181. Haney had him on the tree. 60 foot had him all the way down. Lenko Jim was jumping for joy up here. Lenko Jim is down in the pits with the happiest man and the hardest working man in show business, Keith Haney. Hey, everybody, I'm here with red, white, and blue, American-made, American-paid, Keith Haney. Personal best, 374, going to the next round. Got to be feeling good, baby. Let me tell you what right there. You know, uh, our best ET prior to that was a 374 with an 8, and we had did that, like, um, Thursday night. We had that gear change, and uh, I want to thank Taylor Lassiter. He, uh, he had a gear that we needed. We went over there last night. He got it for us. We come out here in the heat. Boom, go 374 with a two, a a two, boom. 200. Not a team boom. No, uh, not to be confused with team no, boom. No, and here's the deal. Is not only was I part of the Elite 16, I was part of, now I'm a part of the Elite 8. Elite 8. Elite I'm not going to lie to you. I was standing in the tower, and when you clicked on the light, I had to scream America real quick. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> but I tell you what, my light was good. I was sitting there. I was ready to roll. Um, I think I went 020 on the tree or whatever it was, and, and, uh, car stood up and just took off, and I never did see him the whole way down the racetrack. And you know what? He qualified higher than me, too. And, but you know, when it comes to race day, it's a little different hey, when, you different. There, when you go up there. When you go up there, when you go game face, that's right. You got to go game face and strap the gloves on. You know, fire, you, know? Uh, you know, I have Ferris. I got Ferris next round. He went 67. But you know what? Guess what? He's got to line up just like I do. And he better cut a tree because if he won't, he's going to go home. Oh, that's red, white, and blue to you, Ferris, right there. <laughs> Two men from the middle of the country, Ferris Sykeston, Missouri, Keith Haney from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Both guys in the car business. Right now they're in the yes, race definitely. car business. Yeah, race car business. As Ferris is enjoying life because he doesn't own this car, so he's just uh, sitting in the driver's seat as Andrew Aleppa. You know, he's an interesting character. He's an awesome guy, but uh, sometimes hard to drive for. Ferris has uh, done a great job. Pro-line racing engines. Larry Jeffers updated race car. Larry Jeffers built race car on the right hand side. Battle, diversity, nitrous, turbos coming at you. So once again, we need no time. Second round, no time. Second round, no time. Second round, no time. 29 3 15, no time. As Keith Haney, everybody knows his name from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The 16 Camaro here, 948. Cubic inch as a rear Morrison power trying to make it two finals in a row within a couple weeks. Yeah, that would be something else. But, man, he has got a tall order sitting over next to him on the left side of the racetrack. My opinion, if you're Haney, you got to make these guys beat you, right? I think, I think you continue to do what you've done. Make this guy beat you. You know what? They got the gear now. They got some data. I think he turns it up. And, and I wouldn't – I'm not saying they don't. I just yes. in my own conservative uh, – wuss-minded mentality <laughs> i would stick with what i knew but i do think they're going a to b i don't think he's going to spin so in that direction you are correct definitely but we'll find out here in a second as pre-stage is on you'll see uh should see haney going first unless he's going to play a little game he's taking his time uh-oh can we have our first burn down of the sweet 16. it looks like we got one forming up here as haney has yet to budge from the pre-stage position and you know ferris is not looking to go in there first with the turbo car remember turbo cars as he just said does not like to go into the beans first if you're watching on the pay-per-view oh man Whoa. oh he's trying to give him a little little tickle right there haney the iron-willed american from broken arrow oklahoma is not going to budge this thing lenko's up here sweating he's got beads of sweat rolling down his forehead Popping his fist. Haney's in now. America, baby. Here comes Ferris on the left hand side of racetrack. Put it in the beams. He's moving on. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Top oh. inch 
Charge 378 right there as he takes the victory. Keith Haney, stand up, baby. Going on the semifinals. It looked like Ferris was going to get it, but as I said, it's getting warmer out there. Ferris drove it a tire spin, and Haney blew that thing to smithereens through the lights. 378, 195. Well, he sitting takes here it. with Mr. Haney, top end, a familiar place this weekend here in uh, Winner's uh, Circle for the round. Tell us, uh, it didn't sound like your fastest pass, but yet you won. I tell you what, if you didn't watch that on the starting line, you missed one heck of a show. That stage of duel will go down as probably one of the best stage and duels ever right here. He and I knew what we were going to do. He wasn't playing my game. I wasn't playing his, and finally I had to roll in. And then uh, we get out there right before the finish line. I had, had a backfire through the hood scoop. You know, we, got, we went out there, we won. I told you we were coming. But, again, at the end of the day, everybody's got to race everybody on race day. Is that right? Yes, sir, and congratulations on your big win. Ferris is a tough, tree. tough guy. Yes, I gotta go fix this tree. One hundred and one thousand dollars at stake in the finals. You can't win. You can't have a shot at winning it unless you're actually there. So did the hard work pay off out there, race fans? As you see the Enigma on the pay-per-view right now, top secret. A lot of teams came together. The Nitrous guys came together to get them back together. And will it pay off? Because Enigma, Keith Haney. You Nobody knows his name or everybody knows his name. That's one of the two. 948 QB inch rear Morrison power is going to come to life here momentarily. There was a great shot there uh, through the little access hole in the passenger side door of Haney. He pulled on the steering wheel to make sure that the uh, lockable steering wheel was on there. Kind of pounded on the center a little bit. He's obviously fired up inside that race car. His adrenaline's got to be going 100 miles an hour. If they've been working on the thing that hard, you know his heart's pumping. Yeah, I mean, how do you how do you calm yourself down? You, you know, you're you don't. You're pumped you know what? Up. You don't. You don't. I would say you don't. But you, what what about the tree? Th that's it. You, oh. I would think you, I think you want to be as hard on the chip as you possibly can here because you know Mills's car has been uh, like a like a Xerox machine printing 360s time slips. So here you go, Haney, all pumped up. He's all jacked up as they're waiting for Mills to fire up. Cody goes over, looks over, going to make sure they fire first. Gives the thumbs up. They're going to throw down a little bit of more water out there. I feel like I'm in, like, some suspenseful movie. Yeah, seriously, man. <laughs> They're, like, sitting there. It's like, right, imagine what these guys feel like in go. the race cars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. The fine three bore spacing motor and... It was crazy. The first time I ever heard of a 3 board space motor, I'm like, what in the <laughs> world is that? <clears throat> All right. Lake of Jim says, red, white, blue, coming alive. But right here inside, Keith Haney, Larry Jeffers, Bill Race Guy. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 948 QB, it's rear marks power, Schweitzer Dynamics, Brandon Paz, Brandon Schweitzer, doing a tuning out there. Cody Moore, of course, drives the rig out here. Big shout out to him. Let's see if they can get this uh, nitrous car. Look at that. Kenny Hubbard, all the nitrous guys are standing behind the nitrous car because they'd love to see him go to the final round. Oh, they absolutely would. So the Golden Gorilla is going to be coming on the left-hand side to win a Mills. No man, in my opinion, deserves this more than that guy on the left-hand side. Why? Because they've actually took the time. They put the time in. They tested nonstop to get to the point where they are in drag radio. And Dwayne Mills has won two No Mercy events in a row for a total of 100 grand. He could double his winnings over the course of his career here at Duck X Races if he's able to put the uh, put the screws to Keith Haney and make it to the final round against Mark Mickey. Larry Jeffers Race Cars updated machines. Both sides of the racetrack right here. Let's see what's going to happen. Haney versus Mills. Mills versus Haney. Look at everybody. This is the biggest crowd we've had on a starting line. Between the thrash and the pits, between the hard runs that both cars have made all weekend, the multiple 360 passes, the low 370 passes for Haney, all that goes out the window because at this moment, it only matters who's best, not before, not after, right now. Mills goes in first, says, bring it on, here it comes, put it in the beans, oh! Haney was read by only two one thousandths of a second. He goes 379, 197. He would have needed every inch of it as Dwayne Mills goes 373, 4 at 211 miles an hour. An all turbocharged final round coming here at the Sweet 16. And Haney only missed the tree by two thousandths. That, uh, he, he was loaded for bear. So you're right. Haney had the adrenaline pumping, man. Two thousandths on the rent side, but it I mean, if you look at the finish line, Dwayne Mills actually got there first anyway by 13 thousandths of a second, so it wouldn't have mattered if he was perfect.
All right, top end Big Daddy Dwayne Mills in the semis. Incredible. You are heading to the final round facing Mark Mickey, the undisputed uh, champ this weekend. Uh, round after round, uh, Stevie Fast took it back once. He got it right back. And here you are, man, just knocking him out, chopping him down. You are in the final, man. And you took out a heavy hitter right there, man. Haney, what are your thoughts? Oh, man, oh, Haney's my buddy. I mean, we're both from Oklahoma, so one of us, uh, Okies, was going to the final for sure. And my hat's off to my team. They've done an excellent job. We we had a lifter problem. We pulled an intake, put a lifter in it, got it going, and uh, made her another round. Thank God for a good day of racing for us. I mean, I mean, the stuff we went through yesterday, win, lose, or draw, that's a, that's a victory. You know what I mean? No doubt about it, a victory. The car's been, what, a 66? Yeah, I won at 66 earlier today. I mean, it's um, the old heap's been doing pretty good. So we'll uh, we'll wait and see what happens in the final. I know Mickey looks like he's got it won on paper, but I saved the best for last. Hey, here's your buddy Haney. How red was I? Congratulations, red. man. I don't you, know how red I was, but I was red. What'd you. you uh, 73. Oh, I wasn't even close. Yeah, <laughs> you, you guys, man, it was a great race. Yeah. and. Yankee you know, um, to the front, Midwest to the front, right? Oklahoma to the front. Hey, live from uh, South Georgia Motorsports, Rock and Rob with the gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's a celebration, man. Team Oklahoma. I'm going to take one more water shower.